Welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here. We're going to talk about something interesting. It looks like we have some drama. Some drama that I feel I could comment on without getting in trouble. <laughs> you have to really tiptoe nowadays on uh, commentary. But we're going to get right into this, all right? So it looks like Lene from uh, Veteran. So Lene from Veteran. She works at the company Veteran or Leaper Kim. She works there. She's like, I don't know what her exact position is. But the big news is Leaper Kim, veteran, is suing Extreme Bull because because their new EUC Sherman S. It looks like we have a rendering, so they're suing maybe because of this suspension design. Somebody could comment a uh, translation of that below. Maybe some people would be interested in. It's like, why are you posting this on like an English Facebook and Chinese? We don't really, I guess there's people that can read this. Okay. Or translate this. That would be cool to know exactly the parameters of this lawsuit. We'll do a follow-up video if we get a translation maybe. So this seems to be, this core part is what they're suing over. I guess they've innovated this new sort of suspension design, which doesn't look to me like... What am I missing here? What is new or innovative about this suspension design? I'm not sure exactly. Um, maybe there's something, maybe somebody, because I'm trying to compare it to my master. It seems similar to like a V11 type of suspension. But this oh, is connecting. Yeah, I'm going to have to really think about this. Leave a comment too. Like what? Let's... Is there any more pictures? Okay, that's it for the photos. We're gonna take a look at some of the writing footage of the Sherman S here. It looks like an S18 to me almost, the way the suspension's working right now. The way, I, I know it's the suspension's on the back on the S18, but it's just reminding me of the S18 was my first impression. Now it reminds me of like V12. Look at the V12, I like the handles on it. I don't like that gap. It needs a bigger headlight, like more of a... That gap looks awful. I hope they fix that. That gap is not... I don't know. From the, the front angle, it doesn't look so cool. I feel like if they put a bigger headlight on it, or like a bigger bumper on the front, they can make the front look a lot cooler. The front needs a lot better design. That's definitely my initial impression of this wheel. And the suspension does look smooth, and I feel like that knobby tire is... For whatever reason, the, the knobby tire on the Sherman has always been great. I like the knobby tire on the Sherman. It was a great knobby tire. The first knobby tire on the V1. This looks equally good. Uh, I really like the wheel overall. So now I think we've seen some riding footage of the Sherman S. That's what this is, the Sherman suspension. I think the specs on it are very similar, if not exactly the same to the stream extreme bull commander so i think based off what we're seeing we need to look at the suspension system of the uh new commander is it are they calling it the commander s <laughs> that would be funny oh extreme commander pro 3600 watt battery i think that's exactly the same 3500 watt high speed motor do not know if it has the same motor as the sherman s does it have a bigger motor central dampening system is that what's that sounds like the central dampening system is the suspension system probably that uh, veteran or leaper Kim came up with I'm guessing I feel like that's what the core of the issue is here is not anything else like the handlebars maybe even the handlebars um, magnesium alloy lightweight side plates 90 degree middle folding pull rod standard bluetooth speaker i don't think the veteran has speakers if i were gonna buy one of these two i would buy this one i love speakers i love absolutely love speakers i know some people don't like them i feel like they're actually there's benefits to having speakers as far as uh urban riders visibility i really like speakers i'm glad they're putting it on this wheel this makes me want this wheel except like the veteran it's a, only 100 volts so 100 volts to me feels like ancient technology after riding the master. Now the Sherman Max has a lot of torques, a great wheel. But still, man, I don't know. I feel like the higher voltage is the way to go. And if you're really, it's funny, they're fighting. These two wheels are fighting. But I don't even think they're, either one of them is going to be like a bestseller. Maybe they will. The, at, at, 
at the core, they look like really good quality wheels. The central dampening system, uh, maybe it's a new type. It, the video looks nice. The suspension looks like he's rolling very smoothly and probably be easy to take this wheel apart. I think there will be a lot of positives. The only negative I really can see is the uh, 100 volts. I'm not, I don't know if I could buy a 100 volt wheel again, especially, let's watch more video. Let's see the, the weight of it. I think they're very, very similar in weight. I feel like this is a better design Sherman S. So I feel like based off the rendering, I would rather have this 100% if, so imagine, imagine guys, if you start a business and uh, immediately after you make a new EUC, like literally, literally, <laughs> literally, this, they released this Commander Pro. It felt to me like it was like a day or two after the Sherman S was announced, maybe a week. I'm not sure the exact time frame. But it was close, right? It was very close. So <laughs> imagine every time you release it, you see there's a company that Bagode is cloned. Like this is like a Bagode, uh, uh, like veteran. It's like a Bagode branch or not a branch. I, I, you know, I feel like Extreme Bull is a branch of Bagode, whereas veteran Leaper Kim is like an offshoot. A comp like they used to be a part of Bagode, but they totally had a breakaway. Whereas Extreme Bull feels very connected to Bagode. That's my that's my feeling. That's not fact, okay? Now, the Commander Pro versus the Sherman S. Between the two, I'm taking the Commander Pro. I don't know what the price difference is. I I feel like... Man, I feel their pain. The, you know, Extreme Bull makes a better EUC than your Sherman S. Week after... They probably knew, you know, they probably had infiltration or spies or whatever. There's probably a lot of... A lot of uh, intrigue going on in China. I didn't realize they're so competitive. And I feel like sure, the, the Sherman uh, Leaper Kim is hoping that this document will be enough to stop them from releasing this wheel. I'd rather have this wheel. I think it's a better looking wheel. And uh, I feel like they've innovated in, in a way. They added speakers <laughs> at least to it. So it, it, it does have more than the Sherman S. What are your thoughts between these two wheels? I mean, all the EUCs are starting to look similar. We've talked about this in previous videos. All of them are starting to look pretty similar and they're all starting to have some of the key, same key features. So, all right, let's read the exact post here. It says, Leaper Kim is not able to make good suspension wheels? Question mark. Sounds like there's some like, they're offended in some way. Like maybe, um, I don't know. It feels like this is a defensive they're on the back foot here because if this lawsuit doesn't work, I feel like more people are going to be interested in the Commander S than the, the Sherman. I mean, definitely not. We are trying to make the top performance suspension wheels with more than 300 days and nights hard working to design such a top performance suspension wheels. Well, she's saying wheels, so maybe there might be another suspension wheel or that could be. We will emphatically say no to such copy action. Hope, hope, hope such low practice would be stopped once the lawyer's letter published. We firmly protect our le own legal rights and hope the market will go forward to a good phenomenon under each brand's own effort and talent. Interesting. So I think there was definitely some sort of espionage going on here. They've been, the veteran has been infiltrated <laughs> and their suspension dampening system here if they i mean i feel like it's still i don't know what is so different about it than like the v11 suspension or the well the master suspension s18 that's on the back it's 22 it's very similar to the v11 even the v13 maybe so i don't know i don't know i guess I have to really dive deep into specifically what the difference is again leave a comment below if you know that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below leave a like appreciate anyone that used my affiliate code to reserve a wheel if this is the wheel for you i would say wait a little bit to see <laughs> because the commander s might be a better value and better performance wheel overall although guys are you with me on this we don't we don't want to see more 100 volt wheels in the performance section, right? I would like to see more of the like higher voltage. It's great. All right. That's it for this video. 
Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, stay in the Zenzo.